a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Jamal Khashoggi Jamal Ahmad Khashoggi is a missing Saudi journalist and Washington Post opinion columnist, author and the former general manager and editor-in-chief of Al Arab News Channel. He also served as editor for Saudi newspaper Al Watan, turning it into a platform for Saudi progressives. Khashoggi fled Saudi Arabia in September 2017, and has since written newspaper articles critical of the Saudi government. Khashoggi is a high-profile critic of Saudi Arabia's powerful crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman and its king, Salman of Saudi Arabia. He has also criticized the Saudi Arabian-led intervention in Yemen. He is currently missing and allegations have been made that he was murdered and dismembered inside the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, Turkey sometime during or after the 2nd of October 2018. Early Life and Education Khashoggi comes from a very rich, powerful and well-known family in Saudi Arabia. He was born in Medina in 1958. His grandfather, Mohammed Khashoggi, who was from a family of Ottoman origin, married a Saudi woman and served as personal physician to King Abdulaziz Al Saud, the founder of the Kingdom Saudi Arabia. Jamal Khashoggi is the nephew of late, high-profile Saudi arms dealer Adnan Khashoggi. Known for his part in the Iran-Contra scandal, estimated to have had a net worth of $4 billion in the 1980s, Jamal Khashoggi's cousin, Dodi Fade, was dating Britain's Princess Diana when the two were killed in a car crash in Paris. He received his elementary and secondary education in Saudi Arabia and obtained a bachelor's degree in business administration from Indiana State University in the United States in 1982. Career Jamal Khashoggi began his career as a regional manager for T. Hammer Bookstores from 1983 to 1984. Later, Khashoggi worked as a correspondent for the Saudi Gazette and as an assistant manager for Okaz from 1985 to 1987. He continued his career as a reporter for various daily and weekly Arab newspapers from 1987 to 1990, including Al Shark Al Orsat, Al Majalla, and Al Muslimoon. He became managing editor and acting editor in chief of Al Medina in 1991, and his term lasted until 1999. From 1991 to 1999, he was a foreign correspondent in such countries as Afghanistan, Algeria, Kuwait, Sudan and in the Middle East. It is also claimed that he served with both Saudi intelligence agency and possibly the United States in Afghanistan during this period. He then was appointed a deputy editor and chief of Arab News, the leading English newspaper of Saudi Arabia and served in the post from 1999 to 2003. Khashoggi became the editor-in-chief of the Saudi daily Al Wadan for a short period, less than two months, in 2003. His tenure as editor-in-chief lasted for just 52 days. Khashoggi was fired in May 2003 by the Saudi Ministry of Information, because he had allowed a columnist to criticize the Islamic scholar Ibn Taymiyyah, who is considered the founding father of Wahhabism a movement that the Muslim Brotherhood has always been at odds with. This incident led to Khashoggi's dubious reputation in the West as a liberal progressive. After the firing, Khashoggi went to London in voluntary exile. There he joined the Al-Faisal's team as an advisor. He then served as a media aide to Prince Turkey Al-Faisal, while the latter was Saudi Arabia's ambassador to the United States. In April 2007, Khashoggi began to work as editor-in-chief in, in Al-Wadan for a second time. A column by poet Ibrahim al al challenging the basic Salafi premises was published in Al-Watan in May 2010, which led to Khashoggi's seemingly forced resignation. Now for a second time, on 17 May 2010, Al-Watan announced that Khashoggi resigned as editor-in-chief, to focus on his personal projects. However, it is thought that he was forced to resign due to official displeasure with articles published in the paper that were critical of the kingdom's harsh Islamic rules. After his second resignation from Al-Wadan in 2010, 
Khashoggi was appointed by Al Walid bin Talal as director of the Al Arab News Channel in Bahrain. He was also a political commentator for Saudi and international channels, including NBC, BBC, Al Jazeera and Dubai TV. Speaking to the BBC's NewsHour, Khashoggi criticized Israel's settlement building in the occupied Palestinian territories, saying, there was no international pressure on the Israelis, and therefore the Israelis got away with building settlements, demolishing homes. In December 2016, The Independent, citing a report from Middle East I, said Khashoggi had been banned by Saudi Arabian authorities from publishing or appearing on television for criticizing U.S. President-elect Donald Trump. Khashoggi also criticized the Saudi-led blockade against Qatar. Saudi Arabia's diplomatic dispute with Canada and the Kingdom's crackdown on dissent in media. Khashoggi became de facto leader of the Saudi branch of the Muslim Brotherhood. Crown Prince Mohammed not only rejects Wahhabism, he considers the Muslim Brotherhood the main threat to his vision for the Kingdom. In 2018 Khashoggi established a new political party, becoming the biggest political threat to Crown Prince Mohammed. Interviews with Osama bin Laden Khashoggi befriended Osama bin Laden in the 1980s and 1990s in Afghanistan and Sudan while championing his jihad against the Soviets in dispatches. At that same time, he was employed by the Saudi intelligence services to try to persuade bin Laden to make peace with the Saudi royal family. Khashoggi interviewed bin Laden several times. He also met bin Laden in Tora Bora, and once more in Sudan in 1995. It is reported that Khashoggi once tried to persuade bin Laden to quit violence. Khashoggi was the only non-royal Saudi who knew of the royal's intimate dealing with al-Qaeda in the lead-up to the 9-11 terror attacks. Disappearance On 2 October 2018, Khashoggi entered Saudi Arabia's consulate in Istanbul to obtain a document he needed to get married, while his fiancée waited outside, as he did not leave. His fiancée reported him missing when the consulate closed. The Saudi government said he had left the consulate via a back entrance, the Turkish government said he was still inside, and his fiancée and friends said he was still missing. According to numerous anonymous police sources, the Turkish police believe that Khashoggi was brutally tortured and later killed inside the Saudi consulate in Istanbul by a 15-member team brought in from Saudi Arabia for the operation. One anonymous police source claimed that the dead body was chopped to pieces and quietly moved out of the consulate and all of this was videotaped to prove the mission had been accomplished and the tape was taken out of the country. Turkish authorities have claimed that security camera footage was removed from the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, and that Turkish staff were abruptly told to take a holiday on the day Khashoggi disappeared while inside the building. On October 7, Turkish officials pledged to release evidence Khashoggi was killed, but they did not deliver, and officials who had at first offered glimpses into the investigation went silent for a week. Similarly while Yasin Atte, an advisor to the Turkish president, initially said he believed Khashoggi had been killed in the consulate. On the 10th of October he claimed the Saudi state is not blamed here, something the Guardian journalist sees as Turkey trying not to harm lucrative trade ties and a delicate regional relationship with Saudi Arabia. Turkey then claimed to have direct audio and video evidence of the killing occurring inside the consulate. On the 10th of October, al Waqt News quoted informed sources as saying that Mohammed bin Salman had assigned Ahmed Asiri, the deputy head of the al mukhabarat al Alama and the former spokesman for the Saudi-led coalition in Yemen, with the mission to execute Jamal Khashoggi inside the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. Another military officer with lots of experience in dealing with dissidents was the second candidate for the mission. On the 11th of October Reuters reported that Turkish officials were investigating whether Karsogis Apple Watch would reveal clues as to what happened to him inside the Saudi consulate, examining whether data from the smartwatch could have been transmitted to a cloud, or his personal phone, which was with his fiancée, Hoti J. Cengiz. Reactions Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman claimed Khashoggi left the consulate shortly after the visit. The English-language Arab News on 10 October 2018 reported that the Saudi ambassador to the U.S. condemns malicious leaks and grim rumors surrounding Khashoggi's disappearance, 
and that, the reports that suggest that Jamal Khashoggi went missing in the consulate in Istanbul, or that the kingdom's authorities have detained him or killed him are absolutely false, and baseless. Turkish President Erdogan demanded that Saudi government provide proof for their claims that Khashoggi left the consulate alive, something that Turkish police CCTV didn't capture. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo called on Saudi Arabia to support a thorough investigation of Mr. Khashoggi's disappearance and to be transparent about the results of that investigation. President Trump expressed concern about the fate of Khashoggi. U.S. Senator Chris Murphy wrote that if the reports of Khashoggi's murder are true, it should represent a fundamental break in Saudi Arabia-United States relations. U.S. Senator Rand Paul said that he would attempt to force a vote on blocking the future U.S. arms sales to Saudi Arabia. According to the BBC, Turkey would hope for backing from its NATO ally. The U.S. but Saudi Arabia has arguably become Donald Trump's closest ally in the Middle East and Washington may be reluctant to weigh in against Riyadh at this stage. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?